Little Red Riding Hood, from the French tale by Charles Perrault. Once upon a time there lived in a village a country girl, who was the sweetest little creature that ever was seen. Her mother naturally loved her with excessive fondness, and her grandmother doted on her still more. The good woman had made for her a pretty little red-colored hood, which so much became the little girl that every one called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother, having made some cheesecakes, said to her, Go, my child, and see how your grandmother does, for I fear she is ill. Carry her some of these cakes and a little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood straight set out with a basket filled with the cakes and the pot of butter for her grandmother's house, which was in a village a little way off the town that her mother lived in. As she was crossing a wood which lay in her road, she met a large wolf, which had a great mind to eat her up, but dared not, for fear of some woodcutters who were at work near them in the forest. Yet he spoke to her, and asked her whether she was going. The little girl, who did not know the danger of talking to a wolf, replied, I am going to see my grandmamma, and carry these cakes in a pot of butter. Does she live far off? said the wolf. Oh, yes, answered Little Red Riding Hood. Beyond the mill, you see yonder, at the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, I will take this way, and you take that, and see which will be there the soonest. The wolf set off at full speed, running as fast as he could, and taking the nearest way, while the little girl took the longest. And as she went along, she began to gather nuts, run after butterflies, and make nosegays with such flowers as she found within her reach. The wolf got to the dwelling of the grandmother first, and knocked at the door. Who is there? said some voice in the house. It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf, speaking like a little girl as well as he could. I have brought you some cheesecakes and a little pot of butter that Mama has sent you. The good old woman, who was ill in bed, called out, Pull the bobbin, and the latch will go up. The wolf pulled the bobbin, and then the door went open. The wolf then jumped upon the poor old grandmother, and ate her up in a moment, for it was three days since he had tasted any food. The wolf then shut the door, and laid himself down in the bed, and waited for Little Red Riding Hood, who very soon after reached the house. Tap, tap! "'Who is there?' cried he. She was at first a little afraid at hearing the gruff voice of the wolf, but she thought that perhaps her grandmother had got a cold, so she answered, "'It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood. Mama has sent you some cheesecakes and a little pot of butter.' The wolf cried out in a softer voice, "'Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up.' Little Red Riding Hood pulled the bobbin, and the door went open. When she came into the room, the wolf hid himself under the bedclothes, and said to her, trying all he could to speak in a feeble voice, Put the basket on the stool, my dear, and take off your clothes and come into bed. Little Red Riding Hood, who always used to do what she was told, straight undressed herself and stepped into bed. But she thought it strange to see how her grandmother looked in the night clothes, so she said to her, Dear me, Grandmama, what great arms you've got! They are so much better to hug you, my child, replied the wolf. But, Grandmama, said the little girl, what great ears you've got! They are so much better to hear you, my child, replied the wolf. But then, Grandmama, what great eyes you've got, said the little girl. They are so much better to see you, my child, replied the wolf. And Grandmama, what great teeth you've got, said the little girl, who now began to be rather afraid. They are to eat you up, said the wolf. And saying these words, the wicked creature fell upon Little Red Riding Hood and ate her up in a moment.